Hi guys, Michael here, bringing you a quick look at the Nokia Music app for Windows 8. So I've installed Nokia Music down here on my um, my Windows 8 tablet. So the first thing you got to do is swipe in from the side, go to settings, and you just sign in with your Nokia Music account. Um, as you can see there, if you hit Nokia Music Plus, it'll tell you subscription information and options. At the moment, I'm just using the trial for purposes of this demo. So, a lot like the Windows Phone app, you have a variety of mixes or with the categories, which you find down the left side. And then the mixes in those categories are panable sort of in the main part of the screen. So, let's just click most played featured. As you can hear, it's already playing. So, when you first play the song, it'll bring it straight to the front, but as I was already playing music before, it sort of played it in the background, so I just swipe back and get to the now playing um, view. So, let me just put this down a bit. So what you can do is, like the Windows Phone version, you can hit lyrics, and it'll give you lyrics there, so you can have impromptu karaoke sessions, if you feel like it. Um, what you can also do is go back and have a look at recent mixes as well. You can also sort of flick down. You can either buy the song, if you guys can see down the bottom there, or take offline as well, which you can then obviously create an offline mix on your tablet. So I keep playing this, and I'll put it in the background. As you can see there, it's got a live title of the artist, I believe it would be the actual album. And in a second, it's going to come back and work. It'll actually show you the title. As you can see up there, it sort of gives you like the notification banner. Um, yeah, there you go, the title came back and the mix that's in. Um, also comes up with when the song will change, it'll give you like a little notification pop-up banner there. That says obviously what the next song is that you're listening to. So it's pretty good. Um, it's essentially the Nokia Music app for Windows Phone 8, but obviously a Windows 8 um, version. So feature-wise, it so far has seemed to be exactly the same. Um, obviously, you've got My Music as well, if you want to listen to your own music through the UI of Nokia Music. Create your own, offline, that sort of thing. You can search. Obviously, using the charms menu. Um, if you go into settings, you got your account um, options like artist image wallpaper. So if I lock my tablet, okay, that didn't work. But as you can see, there is also a lock screen um, icon. Got picture password in. Let's try that again. Yep, seem to work. Maybe if I just change the next song. Let's try this. There you go. So that's obviously updated um, in correlation to the song that's currently playing. So it's, it's pretty basic, but... um. It is, in my opinion, a pretty awesome um, app. Um, it's basic in the sense that it's not complicated to use, um, but obviously it's feature rich. So as you just saw then, I hit the, um, I'll swipe back and I'll show you. I just hit the, it's called the album um, image, and it took me straight to the Nokia Music page to purchase the song, um, if I wish. So you can snap, as Windows calls it, um, Knock your music into the side, and it just pretty much gives you a view like of the player, which I think is pretty cool. So, as you can see, you can just change there, you just dismiss the notifications, and then just snap it back to full screen. Oh, not quite, that's full screen. So, yeah, that's a quick little um, look at Knock your music for Windows 8. Um, let me know if you have any questions, I'll hopefully try and answer them if I can, but 
pretty much it's Nokia music for Windows Phone 8 with Windows 8 um, style interface. So all the same features just on your Windows 8 tablet or um, desktop. Thanks for watching guys. Cheers.